Hey everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Hope you're all doing well today. I've got a hot sauce to review today. It's from Gator Hammock in Felda, Florida, USA. This is Gator Sauce. Uh, I bought this from Fresh's Best here in Kamloops, BC a while ago, I'm not sure. A while ago though, I've had this for a while. Um, I love their label that looks to be hand-drawn. There's a gator breathing fire, I guess, or, or yelling the word hot, I'm not sure which. Some nice palm trees and swamplands there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Here's the ingredients. Louisiana style hot sauce consisting of aged cayenne peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, and xanthan gum. Then we have distilled vinegar, water, garlic, salt, cayenne pepper, crushed red pepper, black pepper, onion powder, and celery seed. I like that it's got a white shrink wrap, just something different, and I like to point out the different things. So let's open this up. Um, so yesterday I had substantial losses out in the yard from deer in the neighborhood, so I built up a taller fence. It's not really a fence, it's just some, some, what do you call those? Landscape posts, I guess. They're just the round, like, three inch posts with the points on the end, and I screwed them to the fence and just wrapped some string around it. Probably added another, I don't know, three feet of height to the fence just to keep the deer out, and it seems to have worked. I'm actually going to give this another shaky shake. I had given it a shake, but I see there's just some stuff up at the bottleneck there. So let's shake it some more. Kind of working. Yeah. Seems to be working. I'm just doing this. <laughs> Good enough. Oh yeah, I smell that. That smells nice. Let's give this a pour. It smells sweet. It smells garlicky. Yeah, it smells garlicky and smoky. I guess aged cayenne peppers. I'm not sure if maybe they've aged them with smoke. I, I really don't know. Or just aged just mean red. It's a thinner sauce. It's definitely on the thin side. It's got some chunkies in it, some little pieces. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Let's try this out from Gator Hammock. This is Gator Sauce. Heat my shorts. It's quite vinegary. Definitely getting that garlic and onion and that cayenne pepper, red pepper flavor. I suppose maybe even a little bit of that celery seed. I think I am tasting that celery seed in there. Yeah, definitely tasting that celery seed in there. The garlic, the onion, the cayenne, the red pepper. Definitely the vinegar. It's definitely a vinegary sauce. I think that's kind of a characteristic of the Louisiana style hot sauces, I'm, I think. <laughs> I mean, I haven't had that many. I've had Louisiana hot sauce, which is the brand name, but I'm sure I must have had other Louisiana style hot sauces. This is good for being so 
I would say vinegar forward. It has a pretty nice taste for sure. The garlic and the onion really complement it nicely. And same with that celery salt. The, um, the pepper flavor that goes with it, it all kind of works pretty nicely. It works, works really nicely, actually. I was a little bit... Not worried, not hesitant, but somewhere, you know, I wasn't sure what, I, what to expect when I read through the ingredients list last night. Um, yeah, I was like, oh, this is going to be very vinegary and cayenne flavor, and probably that's about it. But there's more to it than that. The flavors go well nicely. I heard a noise. Did you hear that? <laughs> something fell. Might have been something falling from the tree onto the roof. Anyways, for a flavor rating, I think I'd give this like a 7.5 out of 10. Oh yeah, there's definitely something running around on the roof right now. <laughs> I think I'd give this a 7.5 out of 10 for my flavor rating. For my heat rating, I'd give this like a 1.5 out of 10. Very slight tongue sting. Tip of the tongue to the middle of the tongue. Back of the throat and, th uh, yeah, throat burn. I was going to say back of the throat and the throat, but the throat is, you know, that's the same thing. <laughs> the back of the throat is a part of the throat. Yeah, one and a half out of ten. And that's more than I thought it was going to be as well. I thought this was going to be maybe a one, like a very low one, but I guess that's not too far off. <laughs> uh, if you're at habanero level, you might call this a... Two or three out of ten? I don't know. And if you're at jalapeno level, you might call this a three or four, maybe a five out of ten? Hard to say. It's a mild sauce. It's definitely a mild sauce. I recommend this to you if you like Louisiana-style hot sauces, if you don't mind a vinegar-forward sauce. Low-level heat. Low heat level? Low-level heat. That sounds better, actually. Um... Yeah, peppers, vinegar, garlic, onion, celery salt. That celery salt does add a lot to this, actually. If that sounds good to you, then I recommend this to you. <laughs> I, I would restock this. I like this. Uh, this is a good sauce. I've had two of their other sauces, and I absolutely loved their other sauces. This is a good one, too, though. This is for sure a good sauce, and I would restock this. As far as parrots, you could use this for a lot of things. You could def definitely par parrot this with a lot of things. This is like a table sauce. You could put this on the table for a lot of meals, most meals. Um, yeah, one of those breakfast, lunch, and dinner sort of sauces. Not necessarily a dessert sauce, but again, as always, go for it if you want to. Um, eggs. Wraps, sandwiches, soups, chicken wings, um, chicken in general, fish, veggies. You could use this as a salad dressing. I've never done that with a Louisiana style sauce, but I bet you it'd be pretty good. Um, pizza. Um, I'm not sure what else. All sorts of things, for sure, all sorts of things. This is a very versatile sauce. And I'm glad that, that I bought a bottle of it, and I'm glad that I finally reviewed it. I got it from Fresh's Best, as I did say at the beginning. Um, if you haven't been to Fresh's Best in Kamloops or in Vancouver, they have, well, in Kamloops, they have a great hot sauce selection. I can only imagine that they have a similar hot sauce selection in Vancouver. But I really like going into that store. Great store and very friendly staff. So, I think we should have a little hangout with this little doggy. What do you got stuck in your fur? Little flower bud thing from outside. Why do you look like you're pouting? <clears throat> Why do you look sad? Hmm? Where's your hot sauce? Is it because you don't have a hot sauce? How's that? Is that very nice? That's a very nice hot sauce, Maggie. What a good girl. Yeah. What a good dog. 
Well, I think that's about all I have for this morning. I have to chop and dehydrate some peppers again today. I picked quite a few from the yard yesterday. Actually, I'm going to get one tray and show it to you. I wasn't sure if I was going to do this or not. Um, what do we have here? Yeah, how about these ones? There's actually more on the windowsill as well, but some yellow reapers here and some seven pot originals and some red reapers and some seven pot yellow brains. There's like six, no, four more trays in there also, but I'm not going to bring them all over. <laughs> Just wanted to show you some of them. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's about it. Just wrap up this video now and get on with her day. I actually do want to check the yard a little better for damage to see if the deer did get into the yard. I started to check and then I thought, you know what, I'm going to do my morning video and then check. Just so that it doesn't, you know, if I find anything bad out there, it won't affect my video then. So, plan ahead a little bit there. And it seems to have worked out. Um, I have a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> well, in this corner, you'll see our Heat My Shorts logo. In this corner, I'm going to leave Gator Hammock's website, GatorHammock.com. Hop over there and browse their selection. They have quite a few more sauces than I realized, even. Check it out. Up here, some playlists for you to enjoy. Hope you all have a great day. I love you all very much, and we will hang out again soon, I promise. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. The Maggie Show. Bye-bye.